film, the preeminent art form of our time, transporting us to worlds beyond our reach, films enliven our imagination and allow an escape from the dreariness of everyday life. Today, we are afforded a glimpse into the life of one of the brave, noble souls who create such wonders for us, a filmmaker by the name of, what was Ah, Jake Bateman. Yes, renowned filmmaker Jake Bateman, responsible for luminous films such as The Shawshank Redemption and Terminator 2. We see him coming up with his next great idea. But wait, what's going on? Is Jake having some issues envisioning his next film? Surely not. Oh, I guess he is. Never mind then. Ah, what a treat. To see a creative master on the hunt for inspiration in what an appropriately named book. Surely this will be what he needs to break through Shh. his- Oh my word, well I ne- Shh. So it seemed that reading didn't do the trick. Let's see what Jake tries next. Ah, art. Nothing like fine art to stir the depths of our emotions. I'm sure each of us can relate to that. either. What's next? Where are we? Is this what they call nature? Oh, Jake is exercising. Well, you know what they say. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Surely this will be the key to Jake's storytelling treasure box. Surely we are about to see the birth of the next great bill. Oh, I guess not. Here we see Jake returning to his creative stomping grounds. Three activities tried, three activities failed. It appears that Jake might truly have been defeated. Wait, was that a jolt of inspiration we just witnessed? Is, is he making a film about his inability to make a film? That's preposterous. It's ridiculous. It's utterly brilliant. What a gifted mind to turn his lack of inspiration into the source of his next idea. And there we have it. What a treat it has been to follow Jake along this journey. I wonder if his film could use a narrator, because I'm certainly available. I should get in touch. What do you mean we're still recording? Turn that off. <laughs>